Hey everyone, how's it going and welcome back. It's a beautiful calm weekend over here in Southern California. Thank God that the Santa Ana winds are past us now because it was pretty horrendous. I mean, we get them every year, but I don't recall them lasting a week or being as strong. It was so bad it was creating a lot of danger, but thankfully it now has passed. It's a beautiful Sunday evening over here in Southern California, in Ontario, California. And on today's journey, we're gonna be remembering a restaurant that once existed over here in historic downtown Ontario, known as the Ford Lunch Restaurant. And we're gonna go and check out what now exists there. Let this journey begin. Ford Lunch used to exist here in historic downtown Ontario on the southeast corner of Holt and Euclid Avenue. It was a cafe known to serve to the stars during the 1920s since A Street was known as the Ocean to Ocean Highway. A major route for the rich and famous who traveled from Los Angeles to Palm Springs. During the 20s, the Ford Model T was relatively new and as popular as an iPhone. So Frank Holbert, the owner of Ford Lunch, capitalized on the name dedicating his restaurant to the Ford Automobile. It became a huge success, serving thousands from the 1920s till 1978 when it was demolished. And it's right here on the corner of Euclid and Holt, as I mentioned earlier, where it used to stand. Now I believe this is the Wick Building. This building isn't very old. I believe it's about five years old. Constructed back in 2012. Time is everything. Time changes everything. And sometimes change isn't good. And there's actually people from the building just staring back at me while I film. I better just turn away slowly and walk away slowly. Everything's okay. Okay, so that made me extremely uncomfortable, so I must go hide somewhere. So that's pretty much everything that I know about the Ford Lunch. I don't really know too much about the history, and there's not too much posted online. However, you can read some stories, both bad and good, online. I'll post a link down below so that way you guys can read for yourselves. And since we are in this area, there's something else I want to share with you all. Back in the early teens, before this city hall existed, there used to be another city hall sitting about right here with a Civil War cannon about right there. And it's right in this area where back in 1925, Harold Lloyd used this location to film one of his movies, The Freshman. I believe that's the only footage out there of the old city hall and the Civil War cannon. Well everyone, that's gonna conclude this journey over here on Jerry James Journeys. Thank you very much for watching and remember to live, learn, and explore, and check this out.